Have you ever questioned your own values and principles when observing the life and leadership approach of Donald Trump? This unconventional inquiry is meant to stir your thoughts and make you ponder. The ancient Stoic philosophy, renowned for its profound emphasis on wisdom, courage, justice and self-control, seems to be a polar opposite to Trump's brand of relentless ambition, resilience and a success-obsessed leadership style. Could there be an underlying connection between them or a compelling contrast? Stoicism, the venerable Greek philosophy, holds tranquility, peace of mind and above all virtue at its core. On the other side, we have Donald Trump, 45th President of the United States, a figure infamous for his relentless pursuit of success, unwavering ambition and an exceptional resilience that has seen him weather numerous storms. It might seem perplexing, but could there be parallels, intersections, where these two paths meet? What can we glean from this seemingly contradictory blend, which on the surface appears to be a clash of values? As we embark on this intriguing exploration, it's essential to put aside any preconceived ideas and approach this with an open mind. Are you ready to challenge your perspectives and delve into this captivating journey? What do you think Stoicism would say about Trump's leadership style? Cast your minds back to over three centuries before Christ, to the bustling heart of Athens, the birthplace of Stoic philosophy. Picture the thriving cityscape steeped in culture and wisdom where the ancient Greeks mulled over life's profound questions. It is here that the four cardinal virtues of Stoicism, wisdom, courage, justice and self-control were forged. Now, delve into the first virtue, wisdom, not as a vast library of knowledge, but as a compass that helps you discern the essence of things and guides your actions. Wisdom invites you to ponder. How often do you separate what is within your power from what is not and act accordingly? Next, we have courage, not just a physical attribute, but a moral fortress that empowers you to face life's adversities head on. Reflect on how often you demonstrate courage, not just in confronting dangers, but in standing up for what is right, even when it's challenging. Justice, the third virtue, calls for an examination of interaction with others. It embodies fairness, kindness and understanding, nurturing a sense of community and shared humanity. How often do you practice justice in your dealings with others? And finally, self-control, a virtue that demands reining in of desires and emotions. It serves as a measure of your restraint. Stoics believe that emotions aren't inherently destructive, but they can steer us off course if left unchecked. How often do you exercise self-control and let rationality guide your actions rather than fleeting passions? Stoic philosophy is about cultivating wisdom to navigate through life, courage to tackle hurdles, justice to maintain harmony, and self-control to master our desires and emotions. It encourages a life steered not by the storm of external conditions or internal chaos, but by virtue and reason. Now ask yourself, are you living a life guided by virtue and reason? Or are you being tossed around by external circumstances or internal turmoil? And how do you think the principles of Stoicism can be applied in today's world? And let's take a moment to reflect. How does your approach to life and leadership compare to that of Donald 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 Trump? This is a man whose worldview is shaped by a relentless focus on success. Donald Trump breathes ambition and success. It's not that he merely seeks it, but he embodies is the living embodiment of the modern American dream, a testament to unyielding ambition that knows no limits. For Trump, success isn't just about personal prosperity, but about navigating the uncharted territories of possibility, the norms, and creating a legacy that goes beyond his lifespan. But success isn't the only thing that defines Trump. Resilience is another facet of his life and leadership philosophy. His journey has been anything but smooth, marked by myriad obstacles and trials. Yet he has shown an incredible ability to bounce back, to stand tall in the face adversity. His resilience manifests in his multifaceted business ventures, from real estate to reality TV, always managing to reinvent himself and his brand, no matter the hurdles. Beyond ambition and resilience, Trump's approach also hinges on practical problem solving and the courage to take risks. Is a man of action, 
not afraid to challenge the status quo, to disrupt the established order. He emphasizes a pragmatic approach to problem solving and dares to tread the path, all in the pursuit of making things work and turning ideas into reality. So, having considered Donald Trump's approach to life and leadership, how does it resonate with you? How do these elements of his approach mirror, challenge, or enhance your own? What aspects of Trump's approach approach resonate with? Do you believe Stoic philosophy and Trump's approach have nothing in common? Or might there be some intriguing parallels? Parallels? You might find this unexpected. But a detailed examination unveils a remarkable alignment between these seemingly disconnected domains. When we delve deeper, we discover noteworthy similarities that demonstrate shared of resilience and pragmatic problem-solving. Both Stoicism and Trump's approach prize the individual's determination to conquer adversity and negotiate life's complex labyrinth. The fundamental tenet of Stoic thought resilience also throbs at the core of Trump's philosophy. This steadfastness, endorsed by both Stoicism and Trump's strategy, empowers us to surmount difficulties and persist, regardless of the obstacles. The concept of pragmatic problem-solving presents another common thread between these two theories. Theories, the Stoics preach, focusing on what can be controlled, encouraging us to proactively better our circumstances instead of fixating on unchangeable situations. This echoes Trump's approach, which emphasizes a practical focus on outcomes, cutting through distractions to achieve objectives. Both Stoicism and Trump's ideology encourage hurdles headfirst, appreciating courage, determination, and an unwavering spirit in the face of adversity. This convergence of resilience and practical action sketches an interesting similarity between the timeless philosophy of Stoicism and Trump's modern leadership style. As we dig deeper, these striking parallels between Stoicism and Trump's approach propose a fascinating fusion of ancient wisdom and contemporary leadership. So, what do these resemblances reveal about the human condition? Can you identify any other similarities between Stoicism and Trump's approach? Do you value reason over emotion? Or are you more guided by feelings and personal ambition? Are virtues like justice and community service more important to you? Or do you prioritize personal success? As we delve into these questions, let's examine two contrasting perspectives. On one hand, we have Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that puts reason above emotion. Stoics believe that we should navigate life using logical thinking rather than being driven by fleeting emotions. They advocate for acknowledging the world as it is, not as we as we wish it to be. This acceptance, powered by logic, enables us to maintain tranquility and mental peace no matter what life throws at us. On the other hand, we have the approach of Donald Trump, a leader who often appears to capitalize on emotion. His speeches and actions frequently showcase someone guided more by his feelings than by dispassionate strategic logic. This emotional drive has often resulted in impassioned rhetoric that resonates with many, but also leads to impulsive decisions and divisive proclamations. Another aspect to consider is the Stoic emphasis on virtue and community service. Stoics value righteous actions and working towards the collective welfare of society. This aligns with the Stoic principle of justice, which suggests that we, as social beings, have a responsibility towards our fellow humans. Stoicism isn't about personal gain, but about leading a virtuous life and aiding the progress of humanity. In stark contrast, Trump's approach is characterized by an intense focus on personal victory and ambition. His leadership style reflects his business instinct, often spotlighting victory, success, and personal growth. So we are presented with two opposite paradigms. Stoicism, with its focus on reason, virtue and public service, sharply contrasts with Trump's approach, powered by emotion, ambition and personal success. Now we must contemplate, contemplate the potential implications of these differences. What impact do you think these opposing philosophies could have on modern leadership? This forms the core of our investigation into the fascinating divergence between Stoicism and Trump's approach. Now we want to hear from you. How do you feel about the differences between Stoicism and imagine, if you will, a different reality? What might modern leadership look like 
if it were influenced more by stoic virtues. Picture a world where Donald Trump, the businessman turned president, exemplified the principles of stoic philosophy. Could this have reshaped the world we know? Could it have redefined his approach to leadership? Stoic philosophy places the highest value on wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. If we look at wisdom, a, a paramount stoic virtue, it teaches us discernment between circumstances we can change and those we can't. Now, let's suppose Trump had embraced this principle. Perhaps we could have observed a decrease in his unpredictable decisions. He might have leaned more towards making calculated and well-informed choices. Courage in Stoicism extends beyond physical bravery to moral fortitude, the tenacity to do what is right against all odds. Picture a Trump who had imbibed this virtue. He might have possibly taken a more resolute stand on divisive issues, putting ethics before political advantage, irrespective of potential backlash. Now let's pivot to a world where Trump, the influence of Stoic justice, would foster fair and respectful treatment of all individuals. This could have led him to a more inclusive leadership style, emphasizing unity over division. His policies could have been more equitable, catering to everyone, not just a select few. Finally, self-control, a key Stoic virtue, emphasizes restraining our impulses and desires. If Trump had embraced this principle, we have witnessed a more restrained communication approach, more measured responses, a more composed demeanor. In turn, these shifts could have profound implications. A leader who embodies wisdom, courage, justice and self-control could instill trust and confidence. Their decisions would be rooted in reason, not emotion, and they would prioritize the collective good over personal gain. However, there could be potential drawbacks. Trump's unedited communication and assertive leadership, while contentious, connected with a significant portion of the American populace. Could a more stoic Trump have appealed to these individuals similarly? Stoicism, stoicism, although fostering emotional resilience, does mandate a measure of emotional detachment. Could this have led to Trump being perceived as aloof or indifferent? We can only speculate the answers to these questions. It does bring us to the final thought. How would a more stoically inclined Trump inspire trust and connect with the people? And that leaves us with one more question to ponder. How do you think Trump's leadership would change if, if he adopted more stoic virtues? What have you learned from this exploration of ancient wisdom and contemporary leadership practices? We've embarked on an intriguing journey, navigating the seemingly divergent yet interweaving paths of Stoicism, a philosophy deeply rooted in ancient wisdom, and the distinctive approach of Donald Trump, a contemporary figure representing resilience and ambition. Throughout our exploration, we've encountered the stark contrasts and the surprising intersections of these two paths. Stoicism, with its essential teachings of wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control, has offered balanced perspective on life, emphasizing the necessity of inner peace, rationality, and the power of letting go. Contrarily, Trump's approach, underscored by success, ambition, and resilience, presents a more vigorous, dynamic pursuit of life's goals, emphasizing the undeterred pursuit of success, regardless of the obstacles. These differences, however, highlight the variety of ways one can lead and live, emphasizing that there might be no one-size-fits-all approach. Yet, the idea of marrying Trump's resilience and ambition with the stoic virtues of wisdom, self-control and justice presents an intriguing possibility. A leader embodying such a blend could strike a balance between ambition and wisdom, resilience and self-control, and personal gain and public service, painting a picture of an ideal leadership style. As our exploration reaches its conclusion, we invite you to continue this introspection. What food for thought has this exploration provided you with? We eagerly anticipate your insights. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to help us bring more insightful, insightful content on diverse leadership styles and their relevance in today's world. We leave you with one final question. What lessons can we take away from this exploration of Stoicism and Trump's approach?